Welcome back to the center of it all. Our next guest many of you may know is our color analyst on the Match of the Week. And some of you may know him as the owner of Gold Medal Training Camps. But it's my pleasure to introduce to you Mr. Ken Cherto, the new head wrestling coach at Queens University. Welcome to the show, Ken. Hey, thanks for having me. Hello from Charlotte, North Carolina. Ah, uh, Kenny, I, the one thing we probably have in common is the weather right now. Probably the same here in here as it is in Charlotte. Indeed, I hear it's really nice up there in State College Day, but the benefits of Charlotte are year-round nice weather. Without a doubt. Hey, Kenny, let's jump right into this. Um, you know, you've, you've coached at Ohio State and Penn State, you know, leaving your alma mater in 1994. You know, what made you want to get back into the sport of wrestling from a coaching standpoint after 23 years? Well, I've been engrossed and entrenched in wrestling for the entire time just focused on a younger age group, and it's been exciting to see my athletes go on to excel at different colleges. It's been really rewarding. And now that our children are in college, my wife and I have been talking about moving south and considering getting back into college wrestling. Been talking about starting a program. So with one big decision to move here to Queens University of Charlotte, we knocked off three things on our bucket list. Move south, start a new college wrestling program, and coach college wrestling. Cool. Hey, what is it for you, you know, about the Queens University position, you know, that, that, that got, got your interest going? Well, they're committed to Olympic sports. When I talked to the vice president who called me during spring break, I was on vacation in Naples with our children in spring break, and uh, the vice president of the university, James Bullock, called us and said they are committed to adding wrestling, and they, they were going to put together a full scholarship budget and, you know, support the program. They're dedicated to Olympic sports. They have an NCAA championship swimming team here and many other successful sports programs now you know i hope it opened my mind to taking a look at it that's really cool now listen hey you know you're building a new program from the ground up you know what are some of the biggest challenges that, that lay in front of you well i think the first step is promotion of the program letting people know what's going on and i appreciate you talking to me about it and then secondly is recruiting i mean my job from now till september when the new athletes come on campus is to recruit and especially right now for the seniors is getting the best student athletes in the country to come to Queens. And that's what I've been all over for the past couple weeks, literally from the time I've been hired. And we've already had over 30 athletes on campus for visits in the past couple weeks. We have a great situation going on and we've got commitments already. And I'm just real excited about the quality of wrestlers and students that has come here. And they're coming from all over the country. We're a small private school down here in Charlotte. And in state, out of state, doesn't matter. So we've had visitors from California, Arizona, New York, and about every corner of the nation. Hey, for you, for you, you know, with your gold medal training camps, you know, I would have to imagine that for you, you know, you've been doing camps in just about every state across the country. That has to be a huge advantage for you from a recruiting standpoint. Absolutely. I mean, I've started by recruiting from my camps and will continue to do so. Athletes who choose to come to my camp, make that commitment to train. I have my eyes on them. I'm, I'm training them. I get to evaluate them. It's it's definitely a great opportunity. So I've seen so many of my campers excel at the highest level. I mean, look what Zane Rutherford is doing right now at Penn State. I mean, he came through my camp every year, many weeks a year since he's eight years old. And now he's the most dominant wrestler in the country. He went away to college ready to succeed. I mean, he was an NCL American, a true freshman. He beat Logan Stever. Uh, he was amazing from the get-go. So I've been training athletes to excel in college for many, many years. And now I just get them, I get it, I get to pick them up when they're already into college and help them fulfill their full highest potential. Cool. Hey Kenny, you know, for, for you, I would imagine that you, you plan to keep the camps going, right? Absolutely. The camp at the Ramada Inn has been there for over 20 years. At the State College Ramada, we've been there. Uh, so July 16th through 29th, we're going to be there again and again and again. Uh, I'm going to have a Pennsylvania pipeline coming to Charlotte. So Pennsylvania wrestlers, you want to come to the South, you want to wrestle for me, and you want to have a great small private school to train and get your education at, Queens of Charlotte's the place. So yes, I'm going to be running camps in Pennsylvania consistently, just like I have been for the past 20 plus years. Hey, Kenny, real quick, we're running out of time here, but what's been the best part for you so far? Best part has been meeting some new young prospects, student athletes and their parents and interacting with them and sharing Queens with them and just getting to know some new people and seeing their excitement for Queens University of Charlotte and the campus, the facilities and the people that they're meeting. It's been a lot of fun and my wife and I have enjoyed doing that together. And like I said, we've had over 20 visitors in the past couple weeks, so it's been busy times. Hey, hey, Kenny, you know, on behalf of all of us here, you know, we want to wish you the best of luck and we want to thank you for your contributions to, uh, you know, to WHBL. Oh, it's my pleasure. It's been fun working for you guys. and so glad you're promoting high school wrestling in the area and sports in general. So what a great service to the community and I'm glad to be through that area. Hey, Kenny, hey, we'd rather know you and throw you.
<laughs> there you go. All right. All right. Coming up next on the center of it all, our resident foodie, Mel Prosciutti, has a great frittata.